following demonstration, we'll look at one method to weld a cover onto a box. We're going to model the box with brick elements, and we'd like to shell mesh the cover. So I'll create a mid-surface of the cover, and then we'll move it so that it's coplanar with the top of the box. Next, we'll go ahead and trim the mid-surface to keep just the center portion. And we'll trim it by the inner edges of the box. So here you can see we've made that mid-surface smaller. Let's go ahead and bring it into the fem. We've already got a brick, brick mesh on the box. And now we'd like to bring the cover in and we'd like a congruent mesh between the shells that we're going to put on the cover and the bricks. So we'll start by stitching the cover in to the solid. And next we'll go ahead and put a mesh on the inner portion of the cover, but now we trimmed off another portion of the cover around the perimeter where it's welded in. So for that, we're going to create a surface coat mesh, which will use the nodes and element faces from the brick mesh, the existing mesh, to create that mesh. And that mesh because it's not from a mid-surface, we need to get its thickness from the physical property table. But for the one that has a mid-surface, we can use the mid-surface to get the thickness uh, information. So here we'll make sure we put in a default thickness so that we can get that thickness uh, onto the surface coat and uh, material. So here we can plot the thickness contours. We can see we've got uh, the thickness going onto those meshes. Uh, but if we take a look at the element thickness and offset as a solid representation, you can see because we moved the mid-surface, we don't have those shells in the right location. So we'll go ahead and offset them up half the shell thickness. And now you can see that we've got it uh, offset in the correct direction, and that looks good. All right, so next we'll do a test solve to see uh, what our results will look like. I've got the bottom of the box fixed. I've got a G load on the whole thing. And we'll go ahead and run that linear static solution. All right, so first we'll take a look at our displacement results. You can see we've got perfect correlation uh, on those between the 2D shells and the 3D elements, the bricks there. If we take a look at our stresses, you can see there's a little bit of a mismatch there between the shells and the bricks. And uh, just so we can see that a little bit better, we'll go ahead and change the legend to not um, switch. We'll, we'll keep it at uh, 1.2 for our max when we turn on and off the solid and shell mesh. Alright, and that concludes the demonstration.